Well, after a month of speculation and debate, the Academy Awards finally upon us. And now that we've got all the other award shows out of the way, the focus entirely now on Oscar. Here with a preview of who might be taking home Sunday night trophies. Rotten Tomatoes senior editor Gray Drake. Gray, always good to see you. Um, any, is it really, I don't know how many films we even have nominated for best film, best picture now. But there are eight. Eight. But are we down to really two that yes. are going head to head? There's Absolutely. No doubt. Okay. You're not expecting a surprise at all. It's either going to be between Boyhood mm -hmm. or Birdman. Or Birdman. That's it. That's it. Write it down. In my heart, okay. I would love to see Whiplash walk away with that trophy because okay. the movie's exceptional. Have you seen it yet? I have not. You have to go see it. I will see, see this. I will see but it. But I think realistically, based on all the other awards that these movies have already won, it's between those two that are both re exceptional as well. Okay. How can Boyhood lose? I mean, given what they put into this film, I've never heard of anything ever right. done like this, right? Yeah. How can it lose? Twelve years it took yes. him to make this film. It's seamless. It's such a beautiful movie. It's a, it's a story that everyone can relate to on some level. And it can lose because it's going up against an equally as innovative film, which is Birdman, right? It's done in just seemingly one take which has never been done very well in movies before. Not since Alfred Hitchcock. Okay. Let's put it that way. He did a movie called Rope, and it was wonderful. And people along the way have said, oh, let's do a movie in one take. And they're not very good. Uh. So then you have Birdman, and Michael Keaton shines in this movie. The performances are spectacular. It's really hard to say who's going to win. All right, speaking of Michael Keaton, let's go to some of the acting categories. Any, any surprise we should look out for? Like people who are going to be watching Oscars who haven't seen a lot of these movies, what should they be looking for in the acting categories? The acting categories are actually something I think you could really be, win an Oscar pool on this okay. year. Because based on right. the awards that everybody's already won, it looks like pretty solid choices already. Like, I know who's going to win. I'll tell you who's going to win. I'm, I'm going to sound that confident. Okay. Best actor is going to be Eddie Redmayne oh, wow. for okay. Theory of Everything. All right. He was so unbelievable as Stephen Hawking. He, his his mm -hmm. journey as an actor, I think, incredible. All right. And he's been rewarded by nearly every single award show. All right. Now, similarly, Best Actress, Julianne Moore. Okay. For Still Alice. It's really a beautiful yes. performance, and no one else is winning. Okay, in both of those categories, who could sneak in there and grab it? Oh boy, you're gonna make me say that. Aren't you? Well, let's say Michael Keaton. Okay. He might be best actor because he got the Golden Globe, yeah. right? Now, Golden Globes do a category for comedy and a comedy a category for drama, but that's the only way okay. that there's gonna be a surprise. Okay, who can knock off uh, Julianne Moore? Well, if I had it my way, it would be Rosamund Pike. Gone Girl. I haven't heard a lot. She of, was yeah. unbelievable, but she ha she's gotten recognized in nominations, but she hasn't won. All right, last thing here. What's glaring? There was a lot talked about, of course, with Selma. Uh, uh, and how's the actor and the lead actor of Yellow Wolf and also uh, Ava DuVernay uh, yes. were left out of those categories. Is there controversy going to be hovering over the award show necessarily? All of the uh, best acting categories. You have no diversity, essentially, in all yes. the acting categories. Should that be there? Will that be hovering around these Oscars? It should, it should be, be hovering around the Oscars. Everyone, in, especially in the actors branch, that neglected to nominate David Oyelowo mm -hmm. should be ashamed of themselves. Oh, wow. He was unbelievable. He brought Dr. King back to life. And that, to me, is the thing that cast a real pall over this whole year's ceremony. How could he not be a part of this game? So like you it, answer that question. How could he not? I wish I had an answer. I think it's I think it's disgusting that he isn't. And Ava DuVernay was such a magnificent director. That movie was so wonderful. I don't think it's going to get Best Picture, but she certainly deserved a nod for crying out loud. Like it's such a drag, and that is an understatement. Great, Drake. Always good to see you. You too. Dear lady, uh, she's senior <laughs> editor of Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, to see how this all plays out, of course, you can tune into the Academy Awards live this Sunday, Sunday night, right here on ABC. Stay with us. We'll be right back here on World News Now.